Hi folks, I'm Dan Hosford with the Working Man's Retriever. I'm here today because I've been getting a lot of requests lately about guys needing some help teaching their dog how to trail birds. Normally that kind of sequence happens, a trailing sequence happens when somebody has wounded a bird and it's fallen to the ground, but it runs off someplace. And unless the dog actually has the understanding and knowledge of how to train a bird, it becomes very difficult for them to find that bird and bring it back to you. So that's what today's little training trip is about. What I have here now is a drag pole with a small string hooked onto the end of it. And I'm going to use a freshly killed duck and a bucket of water that I'm going to soak the duck in a little bit till it gets wet. From that point, I'm going to drop it here on the ground. I'm going to tie it to the end of my string first. I'm going to drop it here to the ground and I'm going to begin to drag that bird up here through all this grass and some of this tules and stuff that we have here, some of this brush. And I'm going to take it out to the back behind you just a little ways and I'm going to leave it lay in the grass. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to get Thule, a golden retriever male that I've been working with here lately that, that has some pretty good skill with his trailing. And I'm going to bring him up here and set him down. And I'm going to explain to him, show to him, <laughs> explain to him doesn't work. I'm going to show him where the scent began, where I dropped the first bird to begin with. And then I'm going to give him a command to hunt him up and release him to go out and have him find or trail that bird out to the end of the path that I had drugged. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Like I said, I'm just hoping that it, it gives you a good idea about what it is you can expect from your dog if you do enough of this kind of training. All right? So with that, I'm going to go back and get Thule, and we'll get started on this. Find it. Find it. boy. Find it. 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 No, find it. Out of boy. Good boy. Find it. Find it. Come on, find it. Come on. Find it. Find it. No, no, here. Find it. Find it. Atta boy. Good. Lost a trail again. Now, I would expect him to kind of go up that way because of the way the wind's pushing that scent. Let's see if he can sort that out. Yeah, it looks like he's got it. There we go. <laughs> All right, good. Good boy. That's my boy. Very good, son. Good job. Heel. Heel. Sit. Very nice. Drop. That's my boy. Sit. All right. Here. Sit. Very good. Nice job. Well, I was pretty proud of that. We got to see an awful lot that happened in that particular little that little training sequence where he flushed a bird that would have been over here in the brush. I was able to whistle him out of that, get him back up on the trail again. I did have to walk out with him a little bit to help him, but that's okay because in the learning process, you need to be there to help give confidence and a little bit of guidance to the dog. So don't hesitate to do that when you're first beginning to do your teaching. All right? And other than that, remember that once he picks that bird up, lavish him with his praise. And then the next thing, best thing to do would be to repeat that trail again, but do so in a different location move over someplace so that you can you can repeat a fresh trail for him. One of the other secrets about trailing, try to do it either quartering the wind 
or with the wind. So the dog isn't working directly into the scent cone. All right? All right, all right, buddy, here we go. There we go.